for the final highlights I will mix a little bit of off-white into my orange and I will add just a hint of yellowish brown So these highlights, I will take a smaller brush. They will be mostly to uh, to fake to fake the light. I can even go uh, with more white than that. So what you want is really like a bright light reflection on the beard. And you will see that I'm I'm creating only uh, lines that follow each other's. This is what uh, you want. Like the the air will be reflecting in some kind of uh, following pattern. So if I do a few highlights there, a few highlights there, a few highlights there, that will not look uh, good. You have to see, uh, to do all the bright highlights close to each other. You will also notice that I am doing them only in very small spots. like this otherwise the reflection does not look good you need to to keep them like side by side
All right. So we got the beard and hair done. Now it will be time to uh, to start some of the metallics, the metallic work. So for metallic, I will uh, I will do it. Uh, true metallic. Because I am not a uh, non-melic master yet. I have a lot of practice to do, so we will go with uh, true metallics. I will start with a dark, any dark metallic silver. So my trick here is to uh, actually Start with a dark silver, and then you wash it with either uh, normal oil or uh, black templar contrast, just to get it even darker. And this is the point where you start your metallic from. You need to get it very dark to get your contrast on it. So my trick for uh, shading the metallics is when you are actually working any, it's working for any color in fact, if you are working with a cold color, you will use uh, Nuln Oil or uh, Black Templar Contrast over a cold color. If you use this over uh, a warm color like warm brown or red or anything you will uh, totally kill the color it will not look good it will look uh, a lot dirty so on warm colors you actually use Hagrax earth shade or any other uh, brown shade for all the warm colors it will be easier to uh, to get a nice effect on it so uh, silver is a cold color so I will use a black a black wash or shade and on my gold I will use a warm one
All right, the rest will be gold. So this is where it stands right now. We are getting closer to the end. It's looking quite nice. Right, let's take our uh, Black Templar Contrast. Give it a good shake because Contrast are actually separating quite fast. So when it's done, I will apply a nice coat. And I will do exactly like I did on the letter. I don't want to, uh, I don't want it to pull in any area so I will just try to uh, to get a thin coat everywhere no big pooling what I want is to get all all the details out with uh, the contrast paint I will also that that will also give me a very dark metallic this is what I want to uh, to reach as to get a nice metallic uh, feeling you need to have very dark shadows and very bright highlights uh, with the normal metallic pots you are not going to reach very dark highlights so uh, very dark shadows sorry so this is a way to uh, to get your shadows done fast you could also do it with a black paint but that's not as fast as this technique so this is this is kind of a mix between uh, a showcase model and a quick model so there's no uh, I'm not doing everything by hand if I was going to paint a display model, I would have done uh, everything with black paint. But uh, right now, I'm going to uh, to use some contrast paint and some wash to get some some parts fast done faster. So getting all, all the details in the X would be very long to uh, to do but with the contrast paint or the shade. The shade will do uh, somewhat the, exactly the same, except that they are not as strong. So you will need two or three coats of null oil to get uh, the same dark effect that I am getting with one coat of contrast black Templar. So you see, you get now a very dark metallic. Everything is uh, like the the contrast is doing a very nice dark line everywhere around. So I will not have to black line this. 
So it's getting everything done uh, faster. Need to be more careful here as everything is painted around and trying to uh, clean contrast paint is a bit messy. As they are highly pigmented, you will get uh, a lot of trouble to actually get rid of it if you put it uh, somewhere you don't want to. I hope it will not happen, but if it happens, uh, uh, you will see that it's pretty hard to to clean. So I'm trying to get uh, the black lines everywhere, doing my, my black lining with the contrast paint. Right, so I got a coat of Black Templar everywhere. So this is where you start working the highlights. For the highlights, uh, I'm going to take a brighter silver, which will be This is not my silver. Here we go. So I want, uh, I will use heavy metal from scale 75. They all have some cool names. And I will start to paint. Now this is, this is where it's uh, nice as if you check the reflection you kind of know where the highlights are going. So you just reinforce all the highlights. So there. And this is where, uh, this is why you want uh, black the middle like very dark as if you want that hedge to pop if you're on uh, the normal metal like that I did use to base coat it's not enough you will not see it so I find it really important to actually shade the metal like with uh, a darker color what you are able to get. I've not found any uh, metallic on the market that is dark enough to get uh, some good contrast. So on this side, you can see that uh, we don't see much the black lining. So I will take my brush and I will do it with uh, with paint instead. So that means the 
the detail is not deep enough for uh, the contrast to stay there. So I will just take some black paint. And I will do it by hand. Right, so we got uh, the silver mostly done onto uh, the model. If I had something at the end, I will add uh, some color to it. So we'll be doing the gold now. I will leave the weapons for a bit later as I will just accelerate uh, everything. Is now you have the go-to on how to make the silver now let's start and do uh, the gold. So for the gold, it's a little bit the same thing. I will start with a very dark uh, color. I will do all my base coats. For the gold, I will start by doing my highlights. You will see why because I will use a big uh, contrast between my base coats and my highlights so by doing so you will see that my uh, my wash will actually blend both together so that will help me getting some kind of better blending Because blending uh, metallic colors is something really hard. So yes, I will base coat all the small little, little things in the beard with the gold also.
Right, so both racers are face coated. We have all the rest of the gold. I'm not touching the boots right now because uh, I'm holding all the time the model by the boots. So if I paint it right now, I will just get uh, the paint away. So what I will do is uh, I will actually add highlights to this. I will take a bright gold it will be something like this and I will start adding the highlights It's a little bit like the silver. I'm trying to uh, get the edges that are reflecting the light and I leave the other ones alone. So this way, this is how you get your uh, I contrast by painting the reflecting edges and leaving the other ones alone. So the next step, the next step will be to uh, wash or shade. I'm using to say wash because uh, it was called a wash from Games Workshop before they changed the O line and they changed the name as a shade. Now, so I'm mostly used to say wash. 
but it's actually what they are calling a shade right now. Alright, so you can see that I did the eye lights. I did not touch under, so it's uh, dark under. I will do the other bracelet. So I'm starting by doing the lines with the highest highlights. Right, so I lights on both bracelets done. I will probably have to uh, touch up those with uh, some real brown lines because the shade will probably not be able to pick up uh, those very, very small lines. So I will use Agrax Earthshade. Why I am not using uh, the contrast is because I don't have the good color to shade gold. And if I use the Gore Grunter that I did use on uh, the letter, it will be uh, too red. So I'm just dropping some shade in there to get all the deep recess. And I'm trying to, uh, to make a dark line around at the same time. So we can see good separation between the beard and the metallic part. Try to zoom in a bit just so you guys can see better. All right. So it's just for reinforcing shadows and getting the definition around the metallic parts. That will also uh, blend my highlights a bit. And I might give a coat on the belt just to change the color. So this is how you can actually uh, use the shades also just to uh, change the color of the part of your model that you are uh, more or less happy with. You can use the shades to change the color. So here if I want to change the color of the letter here I just I just put a little bit of shade on it and you will see I will get some definition and I will also uh, get a color change so it will be less yellowish it will increase my my shadows so that will improve a bit uh, the belt here was missing all bits of contrast so I need 
once you put a coat everywhere. So it's all the same. All right. I will zoom out a bit just to show you guys that uh, the leather belt is now a bit darker. Go. So the letter uh, I did all uh, the gold and the letter with a coat of Agrax, so it will increase my shadows on the belt and on uh, the small leather straps. I will leave the padded leather that like this as I will have brush it later. The gold has been done everywhere except the bracers. I will do the bracers now. But as, uh, as I expect, I will have to work the bracers with normal paint also. But you see, I'm trying to, uh, to put just enough shade to make a black line around, around the bracer. All right. So the only thing that would be left with the gold is actually to add some silver spots to uh, to make to simulate the brightest reflections. So I will let uh, the bracers dry, and I will just put some little. little silver spots for the reflection only on very very small areas you can see needs to be a really small quantity in a very small area this is too much. So if you find that it's too it's too strong, you just uh, take your brightest gold and you go over it. So it will change the color to a yellowish color, but you will not be able to have uh, a gold that is that bright. So you have to go through silver before. <laughs> 